hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute uh, little pig so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need uh, one kind of yarn so that is the pink yarn and in my case I use this kind of yarn it's uh, the little it's the thin yarn but I use it in double uh, to make my stitches study and also I used a crochet hook which is 2.5 millimeters okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start to the head moving down to the body and first we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five and six okay so and then I'm going to pull my yarn to close the gap okay so now in the second row uh, we're going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so I'm going to go into the next stitch and increase Okay, and then I'm going to continue doing that in every stitch. So increase the next stitch too. Okay, so go to the next stitch and increase two. Okay, so you're going to continue increasing all the way to the end okay so after that now in our third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch okay so increase and then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and increase okay so keep repeating that pattern all the way to the end okay so after you're done with that now in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one and single crochet two and increase in the next stitch okay and then keep repeating that so two single crochet and increase okay and then you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so after that now in our fifth row we are going to do three single crochets then increase and repeat all around for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then increase in the next stitch And then we're going to keep repeating that so three single crochets one two three and increase okay so keep repeating the same pattern all the way to the end okay so after you're done with that now for the next four rows which is from row six until row nine we are going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 30 stitches in each row okay so you're going to continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so do this for this row and the next three rows and then i'll see when you're done with the ninth row so that we start the tenth row together Okay, so after we're done with the ninth row, this is how it should look like. 
so now in the tenth row we're going to start by doing three single crochet then decrease and repeat all around for a total of uh, 24 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then decrease so for the decrease I'm going to go into the front loop of the next stitch and then go into the back loop of the next stitch and then I'll have three loops so I'll have to pull through all the three loops together okay so that's one decrease and then we're going to repeat that again so three single crochet one two three and then decrease Okay, so you're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end. Okay, so now after that, uh, in our 11th row, we are going to do two single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, and then decrease. Okay, and then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and decrease okay so you're going to repeat that all the way around to the end okay so now in our 12th row uh, we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do a single crochet and then decrease and then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and decrease okay so then we're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so now before we continue make sure you stuff your head uh, completely as you can see and shape your head uh, because we are now con uh, going to start making the body okay so now in the next row which is the 13th row we're going to do a single crochet all the way around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to start by doing single crochet Okay, and then we do single crochet single crochet okay so continue doing single crochet all the way to the end okay so now after that now in our 14th row uh, we're going to start by doing single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so now we're going we are starting to make the body Okay, so we're going to do a single crochet and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to keep repeating that. So single crochet and increase. Okay, and then you're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end. Okay, so now in our 15th row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and increase and then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and increase okay so keep repeating that all the way to the end so now after that uh, for the next uh, six rows which is from row 16 until row 21 we're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of uh, 24 stitches in each row okay so we're going to continue and do 
single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so do single crochet in every round uh, in every stitch in this row until you get to row 21 so I'll see you when you're done with the 21st row so that we start the 22nd row together okay so after the 21st row this is how our little doll should look like so now in our 22nd row we are going to start decreasing so we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two and then decrease okay and then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and decrease okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so now after we are done with that uh, in our 23rd row we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one and then decrease and we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and decrease okay so we're going to do that all the way round okay so before we continue to the next row which is our last row uh, make sure you stuff your doll completely as you can see I've already done that so now in our last row we are going to decrease all the way to the end uh, for a total of six stitches okay so we're going to decrease and then we're going to continue also into the next stitch and decrease okay and then we're going to continue like that all the way to the end So after we get to the end we're just going to cut our yarn and then we're going to do the finishing to close this hole I'm going to go into the next stitch and keep pulling through until the hole is closed okay so one last time okay and then after it's closed completely I'm just going to go into the one of the stitches and pull my yarn like that okay and then I'm going to cut it flat like that so that uh, it looks good and neat okay so now after that I'm going to show you how to make the arms and the legs because they all have the same pattern okay so the arms and the legs are quite simple so we're going to start first with the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five and six okay then I'm going to put my marker so now in our second row uh, we're going to increase all the way around for a total of uh, 12 stitches 
so I'm going to go into the next stitch and increase okay and then I'm also going to continue increasing in the next stitch okay so increase also in the next stitch Okay, and increase all the way to the end okay so after that uh, in the next two rows which is row three and row four we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row okay so we're going to continue and do single crochet and then single crochet single crochet Okay, so continue like that all the way around in this row and the next row. So I'll see you when you're done with the fourth row so that we start the fifth row together. Okay, so after you're done with the fourth row, this is how it should look like. So now in our fifth row, we're going to decrease all the way around uh, for a total of six stitches. Okay, so we're just going to decrease. And then we're going to keep decreasing all the way to the end. Okay, so you can stuff it if you want to but uh, in my case I'm not going to stuff it I'm just going to leave it like that okay so now uh, in our next row which is our last row uh, we are also going to decrease all the way round okay so I'm just going to decrease okay and then I'm going to decrease again Okay, and also decrease the last time. Okay, and then after we are done with that, uh, this is how it should look like. So after that, we're just going to do a chain 10 to finish up. So we're going to do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then after that, I'm just going to cut my yarn long enough for sewing. Okay, so for this, uh, the legs and the hands are all the same. So make uh, four of these. And then after that, I'll show you how to make the ears. Okay, so for the ears, we're going to start with a chain nine. So I already did that. And now we're going to start uh, from the second chain from the hook and we're going to start with a slip stitch in the first chain so we're going to do a slip stitch and then we're going to do single crochet in the next chain okay after that we're going to do a half double crochet in the next chain Okay, and then after that, uh, we're going to do double crochet in the next two chains. So we're going to do double crochet, one, and double crochet, two. Okay, and then after that, we're going to do single crochet in the next two chains. So we're going to do single crochet. 
one and single crochet two and then now uh, in the last chain uh, we're going to do a single crochet first so we're going to make a single crochet and then we are going to do a chain one and then we're going to do again a single crochet in the same stitch and do a chain one okay and then after that uh, we're going to continue to the next side okay and now in our next side we are going to do single crochet in the next three stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and single crochet three okay and then after that we are going to do double crochet in the next two stitches so we're going to do double crochet one and double crochet two and then after that we're going to do half double crochet in the next chain just going to do one half double crochet okay and then in the next chain we are going to do a single crochet and in the last chain we're going to do to finish up with a slip stitch Okay, so that's how it's supposed to be so from there now in the next round which is the last round we are going to do single crochet all the way to the end okay so I'm just going to place my marker over here okay and then starting from the next stitch I'm just going to do a single crochet Okay, and then continue to the next stitch and do single crochet also it's a little bit tight okay do single crochet Okay, so you're going to continue doing single crochet until you get here to the end and then when you get to the end you're just going to cut your yarn and leave it long enough for sewing and then after that I'll show you how to make the snout okay so now uh, for the snout or for the nose we're going to start with a chain four I already did that so we're going to start with a second chain from the hook and we're going to do six single crochet in the first stitch or first chain so we're going to go in the first chain and do six single crochet in the same chain so one two three four five and six okay so this is the little nose that we are forming okay and then after that in the second chain we're just going to do a single crochets so we're just going to do a single crochet in the second chain okay and then after that uh, in the last chain we are going to do six single crochets okay so we're going to go in the third chain and do six single crochet in the same chain so one two three four 
pour. Five. And six. Okay, so now on this other side uh, of the chain, we're just going to do single crochet. Okay, so on this other side, so you can see you can, it's only one stitch that's visible. So in that chain, we're just going to do a single crochet. Okay, so now after you're done with that, we're just going to start the second round and I'm going to place my marker over here. So in the second round, we're going to do single crochet in every stitch all the way round. So we're going to have a total of 14 stitches. So we're going to continue and do single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet so continue doing single crochet okay so do single crochet all the way around until you get here where the marker is okay so after that now uh, in our third row we're going to do single crochet all the way around but we're going to do it in the back loop only okay so we're going to go into the next stitch so we have two loops as you know so this is the front loop this is the back loop okay so we're just going to go into the back loop and do single crochet and then we're going to continue like that all the way around so go in the back loop and do single crochet okay so we're going to continue like that all the way around Okay, so continue doing that all the way to the end okay so after that now in our fourth row which is our last round we're going to do single crochet all the way around to the end okay so we're just going to do single crochet so uh, we're going to do just the normal single crochets so single crochet single crochet Okay, so continue with the single crochet all the way to the end and then when you're done with this round you're just going to cut off yarn and leave uh, yarn long enough for sewing and then after that I'll show you how to join all the parts together okay so guys I've already finished attaching all the parts together as you can see so uh, first you're gonna start with the ears so for the ears, you're going to attach them between the one, two, three, four, fourth until the seventh, uh, sixth row. And same case with the other side. Uh, this is the way it's supposed to be. So the ears are supposed to coil themselves forward like that. Okay. And then after that, for the snout, also you're going to uh, crochet it or you're going to stitch it. Uh, at the center of the face like that and also you have to make sure the ears the hands and their legs are all in one line together like that same in the other side so attaching these parts is quite easy and uh, since I ran out of my eyes my doll eyes so I just stitched uh, four single crochets into the magic ring using the black yarn so this that is what I used and that's it guys so if you want it to if you want to use it for a kitchen you just crochet a chain and attach the ring on top of this of the head and that's it guys so i hope you enjoyed this pattern so it turned out so cute uh, as you can see so this is how it turned out like and i hope you enjoyed this pattern so if you haven't checked out my other videos please check them out 
and also you can uh so please if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel and until next time bye